Ken Emmett. Both these sides this afternoon. We have East Belmont on the uh, ground at the moment. We're waiting for the Geelong West Cricket and Football side to come out uh, for the commencement of this game this afternoon. They'll be sporting their new uh, jumpers for season 1992. Uh, very similar to the West Coast Eagles jumper and I believe that they've changed their name for the season also to as they come out onto the ground. We have um, the Geelong West Cricket and Football side let out onto the ground this year by their new captain and coach in uh, Sterling and uh, the big fella in the middle there, number 22, is Darrell Cox for the Geelong West Cricket and Football side. In their reserves here this afternoon, Geelong West Cricket and Football side had a, a very easy win over the Bel uh, East Belmont side. Uh, after half time, they ran right away with the games. Unfortunately, I haven't got the scores for you, but I can tell you that uh, West Cricket and Football Club won the second 18 game here very convincingly. Another warm day for uh, football here this afternoon. Uh, not much breeze favouring either end, so uh, we should be in for a, a good afternoon uh, of football. Right, welcome back to the Baker's Oval here this afternoon. The toss has been won by the East Belmont side and they're kicking down to the Elizabeth Street end of the ground. That's the town end and uh, Geelong West will be kicking to the Shannon Avenue end. Both sides in a huddle here this afternoon. A very important game for both sides. They were both uh, lo uh, lost their first round last week. Um, and it's only percentage which is dividing these sides. East Belmont are uh, a fraction ahead of the Geelong West Cricket and Football side who will be all out this afternoon to uh, have a win, a first win for the season here at the uh, home ground. But East Belmont will be just as determined to uh, knock them off. New senior coach for the East Belmont side this year is uh, Barry Edwards, number three for the East Belmont side. Um, his first year as uh, captain coach of uh, the East Belmont side, starting off up there at fullback. Peter Stennett, um, I've got him lining up at uh, full forward, but it looks as though there could have been a change there for the uh, Geelong West Cricket and Football side. And we have uh, James Bailey lining up at full forward. Just waiting on the umpires to uh, get the spectators off the ground and all will be in readiness to kick off this game here this afternoon. In the ruck where you for Geelong West Cricket and Football side we have Big Darrell Cox. His, his opponent in the uh, centre there this afternoon is Trevor Keegan. Uh, right down by holds the ball aloft to start this Division 2 game here this afternoon. At the Bakers over between Geelong West Cricket and Football Club and East Belmont. Up she goes. Cox brings it, uh, gets a knockdown. A quick hand ball by Posman. Sees East Belmont go down to half forward and a nice mark taken on the half forward line by Scott Robe. Kicks into the man on the mark but he gets a rebound. Hand balls across to a teammate over there in Lucas. He taps it further afield where it's picked up and, hand, and a short kick out by Keegan. Finds his teammate on over on the far side of the ground in McLaughlin. McLaughlin goes towards a pocket coming through strongly there for the Geelong West side was Thomas uh, smothers the ball up the umpires picked out a free kick and the free kick going to East Belmont over in the far forward pocket 50 metres out from goal a quick kick forward sees it go down towards the pocket and a mark taken over there for the East Belmont side and it's been taken by I just can't pick him up at the moment he's kicking from about 30 metres but he's uh, right on the boundary line comes in, the drop punt, fires towards goal, cross the face of the goal, up they fly, thump through, thump through for one behind, off the fist of Timmy Gardner, so that's a first score for the afternoon to East Belmont, and that has come up at the one and a half minute mark of the first quarter. 
Right, the kick in taken quickly comes out here to Neil on the half-back flank for the uh, West Cricketham footy. They uh, socket the ball off the ground, round towards the boundary line. Closer to the boundary line, goes over the line before Glenn Kemp. Uh, Kempiri could get it and uh, to come off a boot, unfortunately, for Geelong West Creedon football side. And the, and the free kick will be taken here on half forward flank for East Belmont and it will be taken for them by Kelly. Kelly goes in towards the centre, a quick handball across to Lucas. Lucas spears the ball across towards the pocket. Up they fly over there, but a good mark taken for the Creedon football club over there by Timmy Gardner. Gardner from the back pocket goes around the far side of the ground. Up they go. We're mark over there to Barachi. Barachi on centre wing now. Spears the ball down towards centre half forward. The ball bounces. Be uh, coming in there to trap the ball was Rowe. He uh, handballs out it. Uh, soccer off the ground sees East Belmont with it. A long handball. Chipping in there is a cricket and football club's. A short kick across the centre half forward uh, here towards the half forward flank but a push in the back and the free kick to be taken here on half back flank for East Belmont taken by Posman. Posman in towards the centre a player unattended there takes a mark and this is Hetherington Hetherington in the centre of the ground spears the ball down towards centre half forward up they fly down there knocked uh, away from Robe but a push in the back and uh, Robe will take the free kick at about centre half forward for the East Belmont side plays on quickly spears the ball down towards the pocket up they fly over the back of the pack it goes picked up here by Cotter Cotter spears it out to the centre wing attempted mark out here for East Belmont the quick hands gets it across where we see uh, a quick kick taken from by Legal. Legal's quick go kick goes into the centre. Lucas Shepherds for a teammate there. He picks the ball up. Handballs are back out to Hetherington. Hetherington with handball across to Lucas. He couldn't control it. Uh, Geelong West Creighton Football Club. Handball of, uh, the ball towards the centre. Good body work there by Spokes for the Cricket and Football Club but the ball's bottled up. The umpire's picked out a free kick and the free kick will go in the centre of the ground and be taken by Spokes. Spokes now spears the ball out to the half forward flank where Stennett in front takes a timely mark. Stennett plays on quickly, spears the ball down looking uh, further up forward. The mark's built down there, Wilkins first onto it for the East Belmont side. Kicks it across ground where he's got a teammate there in Posman. Posman plays on quickly, in towards the centre it goes. Lucas tries to trap the ball, he's bumped off it there. Good play for Geelong, uh, West Cricket and football side by Compiri. Uh, his handball goes to no one. It's picked up in the centre here, across to Hetherington. Hetherington over the top, looking for his team mate there in Kelly. Kelly across to Lucas. Lucas now. A long handball down towards half forward where he's found uh, Fra Franey. Franey goes across the ground looking for his teammate down there in Smith. Smith traps the ball now on the 50 metre line. A quick handball across to Povey. Dodging and turning. Caught with the ball but he's allowed to play on. Long handball in towards a the teammate there who has a flying shot towards the goal and that was Jason Smith and he brings up one point. Had plenty of time then to steady. Wasn't a very good kick off the boot and the second point comes up on the board for the East Belmont side and we've been travelling uh, six minutes into this the first quarter brought to you by FSSC the Ford Co-op uh, Credit Society who sponsor the Geelong Football Umpires League Junior Development Squad right the kick in from full back marked here on half back flank by Barachi Plays on quickly, spears the ball towards the centre. They set themselves, up they go. Hetherington has two bites of the cherry, couldn't take it. On the ground it's uh, the Cricket and Football Club through the agency of Binion uh, who gets a resultant free kick. He spears the ball out to half forward, but coming through strongly there for East Belmont, we see uh, Gladman get the ball down to half forward. And players overrun the ball. Tried to soccer it off the ground, there was Povey, for, but it comes back where it's picked up and kicked forward for, by Thomas for... Uh, for the uh, west side down to half forward and a good mark taken down there on half forward flank and it has been taken for them down there by Gardner I think it was he spears the ball down towards the forward line over the heads of the play as it goes first under the ball is Wilkins he uh, tries to handball it but it goes across the line and we'll have a throw in in the forward pocket for the west side and uh, about 25 metres around from their goals. Right, the throw in. Up they go. Knocked away by Hawkins for East Belmont. Over the back of the pack it comes. Picked up and kicked down here towards the centre of the ground. First onto the ball, couldn't trap it, was Franey. Uh, Cox is in there for the uh, west side. Uh, scrambly play in the centre of the ground. Franey uses his body. Butters up again, tries to pick it up, he's got support, it comes out here to McLaughlin, McLaughlin now goes down towards half forward, out wide, uh, the ball trapped over there for Geelong West by Michael Gardner and he takes it across the line and will have a throw in. Right, the ball.
ball thrown back in. Big Cox in there. Taps the ball down to no one in particular. It hits the turf. Geelong West first under it. A quick hand ball. Sees the ball go straight up in the air. McLaughlin comes through. Couldn't pick it up. Uh, on his hands and knees is Hetherington. He gets a hand ball out wide to a teammate there who spears the pass down to half forward. Mark down there for him by Montgomery. Plays on quickly. Comes down looking for a lead from the full forward. Smith, he couldn't take the mark. Two bites at the cherry. Geelong West over the top of the ball. It's flipped out with handball. They get it across with handball again, but it's in trouble here. It's picked up by Hetherington. Tries to burst his way through the uh, pack. A high kick down towards the forward line. It comes to turf. Picked up with the handball. It comes out to Posman. He has a, fly, a shot towards the goal. Over the heads of the players it goes. West, uh, West uh, player being held down there, and he'll take the free kick, and this is John Sterling. Sterling to take this kick in the... Uh, And a 50 metre penalty handed out. The uh, East Belmont player kicked the ball away and he comes down now between centre wing and half back flank. Plays on now. A high kick down towards the centre of the ground. Out they come and a good mark taken by Stennett. Stennett now in the centre of the ground. Spears the ball across looking for a teammate there. McLaughlin late on the scene. Uses his body. Get, picks the ball up. He's tackled. The ball spills free. Hetherington's in there. He's got it. Handball's up. But Stennett picks it up. With handball he puts it out in front of his teammate there in Benyon. Benyon from centre wing now. A chip pass in towards NR forward. Up they go and a good mark taken there by Wilkins for the East Belmont side. Comes straight across the ground to the uh, centre wing. Leading in the race for the ball and taking a good mark there is Franey. Franey now plays on quickly, spears it down. Running with the flight of the ball, unable to take the mark was Kelly. Up in the air it goes. Cox goes in there, couldn't take it. On his hands and knees trying to get this ball out. Montgomery, it's picked up here for Geelong West. A handball out where we uh, see it. Inguis and get it out to a teammate who spears it down to a centre wing, picked up and kicked back by the East Belmont players, up they fly thump to ground, Ingwerson takes the crumbs again, runs around the player in the centre steadies, goes across the ground a good pass to the uh, leading teammate over there on half forward, runs into his own player, but the umpire's uh, going to give 50 metres here for what I don't know, but this is going to put the West player within kicking distance and this is Westwick <coughs> The only thing I could see uh, out of the ordinary happen there was a Geelong West uh, teammate tripped his own player up, and uh, but the umpire must have seen something and has awarded a 50 metre penalty. Now we're waiting on Dean Westwick directly in front at the 10 minute mark, lining him up with the drop punt. Comes in, the drop punt and he spears it straight through the centre and that's the first goal for the afternoon and that's on the board to the Geelong West Cricket and Football Club. And they are one goal straight, six points on the FSSC Ford Co-op British Credit Society scoreboard where we see Geelong West Crickenham Football Club one goal straight, leading East Belmont who are, who are two points. Right, the bounce of the ball in the centre. Big Cox grabs it out of the ruck. A handball to his teammate on the run there. Spears the ball down to half forward. Stennett picks it up at centre half forward. Lays back on the kick and drives it long in towards the forward line. But he's off target and one point is the result. Right, the kick from fullback, not a very good kick, comes out here to half back, close to the boundary line, and it's happened to handball straight across the line, yes, and the umpire's picked it up, and the free kick will be taken for Geelong West, and it goes to Camp Campieri. He's kicked down forward, good use of the body down there by the uh, Bailey. He taps it across, Stennett receives it, runs into an open goal, and he has missed. One point is a result, a bad miss there by the... Um, Captain coach of the Geelong West Cricket and Football side directly in front and blazed away and one point is the result. It takes Geelong West on to now one goal, two, eight, leading East Belmont who are on two behinds. A better kicking this time by Edwards straight over there towards the half back flank but a good mark taken by Cox for the Geelong West Cricket and Football side. He drives the ball back towards the 10 yard square. Up they go. Edwards is beaten for a tap to the ground there by Bailey. Comes out where uh, Geelong West first onto the ground. Uh, caught with the ball and the umpire moving and ball it up. 
Bookers, Northside Higher, Karaya Village News Agency, first quarter scoreboard sees Geelong West on one goal, 2-8, leading East Belmont on two behinds. Right, from the bounce we see it picked up by Gardner, he's kicked smothered in the forward pocket, he's back onto it again, has a, a shot towards the goal, over, straight across the face of the goal it goes, bounces over the boundary line, picked up by Stennett, but unfortunately for him, the ball was out and the umpire will bring it back and will have a throw in. Right, the free kick's been paid because Stennett kicked the ball away and East Belmont take it. They kick it towards ten half back and the mark's taken there by Povey. Povey now from half back swings the ball down towards the centre wing. Up they fly and a good mark taken for Geelong West by Glenn Campiri. No, it's been handed a free kick, must have been picked out there and it's been taken by Michael Gardner. Gardner now down towards half forward, over the heads of the players it goes. Well, first in there is Rowe for the uh, Geelong West side. The handball comes out where it's picked up here for East Belmont by Legal. Legal goes towards the centre, a mar easy marks built there by Hetherington. He's back onto it, flips the handball out to a teammate, Cox chips in. Cox with handball, gets it across where is it? Westwick. Uh, goes out wide looking for Stennett. Stennett now comes back in towards the centre half forward position. Tapped away, picked up here in handball. Sees East Belmont get out of trouble half back. Go down towards the centre of the ground. Franey comes in late, couldn't control the ball. West uh, tapped the ball along, comes out towards Westwick. He taps it in further, but it's all East Belmont. Picked up by Hetherington. A long kick down towards centre half forward, but in the road down there we see taking a timely mark is Thomas. Goes across the other side of the ground where he's got Bradbury all on his own out there. He marks over the top. He goes to uh, Timmy Gardner. Gardner from centre wing now. Steadies. Kicks down towards half forward. They set themselves down there. Over the back of the pack it comes and it's tapped across the line by Wilkins and will have a throw in. <coughs> Right, we've been travelling just on uh, 14 minutes into this, the first quarter. The boundary umpire brings the ball back in. Barley brings it to turf. Picked up here for the west side and a shot towards goal. A low shot and it lands in the safe arms of Edwards. Edwards now plays on and with handball gets it out to his teammate there in Hawkins in the back pocket. Hawkins round towards the scoreboard. Uh, good play out there from uh, Yannick for the west side but unfortunately it was 2-1 to one for East Belmont. They kicked the ball towards the centre. Hetherington spills the mark in the centre of the ground, taps it out, but it's uh, Geelong West again with handball, get it across to Thomas, Thomas goes wide towards the pocket, up they fly, it's brought to ground by Wilkins over there for the East Belmont side, and a, a, a too high tackle on an East Belmont player, picks himself up over there in Mark Gladman, and he'll take the free kick in the back pocket. Gladman now, spears the ball down towards the centre, Big Cox comes across and takes a mark in the centre of the ground. Cox now, a short kick out towards half forward and finds a teammate over there on the half forward flank. Right, the kick down towards the 10 yard square, falls into, into the arms down there of a Geelong West player and I think this is Bailey. I think he got a surprise to see the ball come over the top of the East Belmont player and uh, floated into his arms and Bailey a line up no more than 10 metres out directly in front. The drop punt and it's gone straight through the centre for his first goal for the afternoon. That's James Bailey for the Geelong West Cricket and Football side. They move on to two goals to 14, leading East Belmont two points straight. And that has come up at the 16 minute mark of the first quarter. Brought to you by Kerr's Northside Hire, Karaya Village News Agency. Out there, Kerr's Northside Hire at Dun and Eadle Street in North Geelong and out at Karaya Village News Agency, Ray Edwards Shop 27, Karaya Village Shopping Centre. The ball back in the centre, the bounce, up they fly. Neither uh, get the tap down, it comes down where it's picked up by Lucas for the East Belmont side. A long kick down towards the forward line and a good mark taken down there for East Belmont. And this has been taken by the big fella in number 20 in Scott Robe. And he'd be directly in front, kicking from about 40 to 45 metres out. Comes in with the uh, drop punt. A high kick. It floats uh, across the face of the uh, big sticks and one point is the result. A goal needed there for East Belmont. Unfortunately, Scott couldn't bring it up for them and they move on to three points straight, trailing Geelong West to uh, Cricket and Football Club who are on two goals and two. 
upright to kick taken in from full back across the far side to ground up they fly brought to turf by the east belmont players handballed out it's picked up here by spears uh he's caught his handball goes around towards the center wing running onto the ball there and picking up was thomas comes straight across the center of ground. good play though by the east belmont defender went straight at the ball there and so it was montgomery but it's picked up and kicked forward for uh, geelong west down towards their 10 uh center half forward position tapped away by edwards towards center half back it's picked up here for 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 Geelong West but the handball goes astray Edwards gets another kick but it's smothered uh, scrambly play up there at centre for and the umpire will have to move in and ball it up Tried to bounce of the ball. Centre half forward for Geelong West. Up they go. Thomas uh, Bailey, it is. Sorry, comes in and thumps it down. Picked up by Edwards. So he's caught. Oh, caught high, unfortunately, for the uh, west side. The tackle was too high, and Edwards takes a free kick. Plays on. Goes out towards the scoreboard side to ground where he's found a teammate out there. Spear, who kicks quickly in towards the centre, looking for Montgomery, and he's found him between centre half back and the centre of the ground. Montgomery now drives the ball down towards centre wing looking for McLaughlin. He's behind his uh, player there, but it's picked up and handballs forward for Geelong West where it's in the hands of Gardner. Gardner across to a teammate who looks for Stannett. Couldn't find him. Going through nicely there for the Geelong West side was Ingwinson. Kicks the ball down to where Bailey's got it. He's caught, loses the ball. Handballs to, to a teammate going through. Has a flying shot towards a goal. And that was Glenn Campieri. And uh, what's happened down there? The umpire has given the all clear and one goal is the result. Off the boot there of Glenn Campieri and Geelong West move further ahead in the first quarter. At the 18 minute mark we see them on three goals at 2, 20 leading East Belmont who are on three behinds straight three points and that's proudly brought to you by Kerr's Northside Hire, Corio Village News Agency's first quarter scoreboard. Right, the ball back in the centre, the bounce of the ball, up they go. Cox taps the ball over his head, but it's picked up in the centre by the East Belmont. They soccer the ball down towards half forward. Coming out of defence, Geelong West were met solidly there. Good bump there by Lucas on the Geelong West player, but unfortunately a free kick has been paid against them, and it goes to Ingwinston. He's kicked down towards a half forward. Sterling thumps the ball further out towards a half forward flank. Good play over there by Stern for East Belmont, but he's beaten for the ball by uh, Timmy Garner, who has a flying shot shot towards a goal and there's another one to the uh, Geelong West side off the boot of Timmy Gardner and uh, that's their fourth goal four goal kickers for the first quarter and we see them uh, getting a handy lead here in the first quarter at the 20 minute mark of the first quarter we see Geelong West Quigden Football Club on four goals to 26 leading East Belmont who are on three behinds straight and that's proudly brought to you by Kerr's Northside Hire, Karaya Village News Agency first quarter scoreboard. Call in see Gary Kerr out at Northside Hire in the corner of Dunn and Edel Streets North Geelong for all your hire requirements. Uh, out there, telephone 052 786 011. The bounce of the ball in the centre. Sees it come out where going forward is the East Belmont side through the agency there of Keegan. And a mark taken down there, played on quickly by Rowe. Kicks it in towards centre. I've picked up nicely for East Belmont and a flying shot towards a goal by Corey po Povey. But uh, the ball floats across and out of bounds on the fall. A quick tick, a kick taken for West out of defence quickly. Neil gets it in the back pocket. Kicks down towards centre wing. Montgomery couldn't get it. Over the heads of the players it comes. Picked up there and kicked forward for by Kelly for East Belmont. But his kick goes over the line on the fall. And West takes the free kick through Binion. He's kicking towards the centre of the ground looking for Gardner. He spills an easy mark. Lucas in there for East Belmont. Can't pick the ball up. The umpire will move in and ball it up. Gardner was gone then before the ball got to him, uh, in my opinion. Anyway, at the bounce of the ball, Cox uh, gets a free kick. The East Belmont uh, Ruckman just jumps straight into him and he takes the kick. Uh, just short of the centre of the ground. Goes out wide, kicks the ball out in front of Stennett. He can't get to it. The ball bounces cruelly for the West player, but going through strongly there was Bradbury, and uh, he knocks the ball forward and it goes across the line and we'll have a throw in. 22 minutes into this, the uh, first quarter here at the Baker's Oval for this uh, Geelong and District Football League 
your aim here this afternoon. McLaughlin for East Belmont taps the ball out of the from the throne. Picked up there by Montgomery. He's caught, drops the ball. Play on the umpire calls. Comes out now where a quick handballs for East Belmont. Sees it go across where Hetherington gets another kick. Long kick down towards half forward. Uh, the, a good mark taken down there for the uh, west side and it's been taken by Thomas. Thomas now. Looking for someone further downfield to give it to. Spears it out wide looking for Gardner and he's found him over there in the centre wing. Gardner looking to lay the ball off. He doesn't now. Has a quick kick down towards centre forward. Uh, pushing and shoving down there and the free kick to go to David Rowe for the west side on the 50 metre mark. Plays on quickly now. A short kick in looking for Stennett. The ball drops short. East Belmont over the top of the ball. Try to get it out with handball. Good handball by West. Gives it to Bailey. Back to Stennett. He runs into an open goal. This time he doesn't miss. And that's his first goal for the afternoon. And Geelong West's fifth. That was good unselfish play down there by Bailey. He, um, in the 10-yard square, had the chance to turn around and kick it. But with Stennett coming across the front of him and running straight into an open goal, handballed it to him. And Stennett didn't let him down this time. And he brings up his first goal for the afternoon and Geelong West Cricket and Football Club's fifth they go to five goals to 32 leading East Belmont three points straight and that's on the Kerr's Northside High Kariah Village News Agency first quarter scoreboard brought to you through guest video cameras the bounce of the ball in the centre. Cox grabs it out of the ruck, kicks the ball down towards half forward. Wilkins coming across from half back. He picks it up, kicks the ball out here towards centre wing. Bit of jostling uh, here on centre wing. Good play here, sees the ball come to ground. Ingwinson for the uh, Geelong West side gets across to Westwick. He kicks long towards the goal line, it floats. But uh, I think it's gone through for one behind and uh, Geelong West go to five goals, three, leading East Belmont on three points. Edwards to bring the ball back into play. Kicks the ball down towards the centre of the ground. A bit of jostling in the centre of the ground here. Uh, and the umpire is sending off, bringing the yellow card out. And the player being sent off for East Belmont is number 36 in Trevor Keegan. A little bit of... <clears throat> bit a bit of confusion here at the moment. The umpires got the card out, doing uh, a little bit of writing there. The players are giving some, uh, giving him some advice, but Cox has got the ball, uh, telling him it's his free kick, and uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Right now we're back in business and Cox to take this free kick in the centre of the ground. Drives the ball down towards a, f a forward pirate. Up they fly uh, in front and a good strong mark down there for the west side has been taken by Bailey. Oh, kicks the ball back towards an half forward. It's grabbed there for them by Binion. He dodging and weaving. So I uh, held on to that for a long time. The umpire lets it go. Stennett gives a little bit of a nudge to his opponent up there and takes a good mark. Uh, in the 10 yard square, the umpire has paid the mark and he'll go back and line up for his second. Stennett now comes in on a slight angle, drop punt and straight through the centre it goes. His second goal for the afternoon and Geelong West going further ahead. A very good first quarter here for the Geelong West cricket and football side and we've been uh, travelling just on 31 minutes into this the first quarter where we see Geelong West on six goals, three, uh, th six goals, three, 39 to three points straight. Right, waiting for the ball to come back to the uh, centre of the ground, to the central umpire. Big Darrell Cox in the centre of the ground doing the ruck work for the uh, west side. He towers over his opponents. Up he goes, thumps the ball forward. It goes out towards a half forward flank. Gardner onto it. He couldn't, being held as he went to go for that ball and Gardner to take the resultant free kick. Gardner now spears the ball down towards centre half forward looking for Stennett and he's found him. Stennett at centre half forward now for the uh, Geelong West Cricket and Football side to go back and have this shot to, uh, for goal. Right, 
Mike Stennett coming in directly in front. Kicking from just on 50. Uh, hooks the ball across the face of the goal and one point is the result and that's his third point for the afternoon. Two goals, three in the first quarter to Peter Stennett and Geelong West go one point further ahead. They go to six goals, 440 leading East Belmont who are on three behinds. The kick from Edwards taken quickly from fullback and he finds Hawkins out there on halfback. Hawkins down to McLaughlin. McLaughlin having trouble picking the ball up. It comes back where Hawkins picks it up himself. Handballed, but he handballed into a nest of uh, Geelong West players. The ball up in the air. It's picked up for him now by Spears. He's caught. Sock it off the ground there by Lucas for the East Belmont side. A quick kick out for sees it come into the arms now uh, going through there for the East Belmont side. It was uh, number but 26 in Edwards. He's kicked down towards a pocket. Tried to suck it off the ground. The uh, West players there, but it's bottled up, and the umpire moving and ball it up on the just inside the 50 metre line. There on the East Belmont half forward line. The bounce of the ball, down it goes. Cox gets a tap down, but it's sharked here and a shot towards goal for East Belmont off the boot of Montgomery, but he's off target, and one point is the result. One point to the uh, East Belmont side, takes him under four points straight, trailing Geelong West here on six goals, a four. The kick taken in from fullback finds John Sterling in the pocket. He's kicked round towards half-back flank and a good leader took his eyes off the ball there was Damien Bradbury and spilt the mark. Comes out now where it's picked up by Posman. He can't do anything with it. Hetherington with it now, looking to lay it off. Does to McLaughlin. McLaughlin. He dodges and weaving. He wants to lay it off, but now he kicks it down towards a pocket and a good diving mark taken in the back pocket by Sterling. Sterling now kicks towards centre half back. They set themselves up, they fly over the back of the pack. It's hit. Oh, being caught without the ball there was Benyon, but he taps it further afield. Picked up here for uh, Geelong West. Uh, handball sees East Belmont cut it off though. Centre of the ground. Hetherington runs through the centre. A chip pass down towards centre half forward and finds his teammate down there. And a good lead and a good mark taken by Scott Robe. Robe now, kicking from uh, about 60 metres out, a high kick down towards a pocket, up they fly, too many Geelong West players down there, but the scramble down there, it's, uh, ball comes out, Montgomery scouting the pack, waiting for it to come out, but it hasn't come out, and the players bottle it up, and the umpire moving and ball it up. About 10 yards out from the uh, East Belmont goal, they badly need a goal from this uh, sorty forward here in the first quarter. The umpire puts the ball to turf. Up they go. Grabbed out a ruck. Oh, swung round was a player, but sitting in the right on the line was a West player who takes a mark, handballs over the top and finds Campiri. Campiri uh, back to his running teammate who kicks the ball around towards centre wing. Up they fly. Two to one uh, East Belmont. The ball on the ground. It comes out. Uh, Lucas gets it out to a teammate there in Posman. Posman kicks the ball towards centre half forward. They set themselves, but a good mark taken there for the Geelong West side at centre half back and and that was taken for them by Bar uh, Barachi. Barachi goes out wide. McLaughlin first onto the ball. He gets a kick towards the centre of the ground. It's trapped here by uh, David Rowe for the west side. He spilled, the ball spills free. It's picked up and kicked forward by Stern for East Belmont. Uh, but a good mark taken down there in defence by Cox. And he's thrown to the ground and a 50 metre penalty. Bad play down there by the East Belmont defender and Cox will take this uh, benefit of this 50 metre penalty, taking him up right through the centre of the ground and West Geelong will go into attack again with the chance now of putting on another major. Cox, oh, not a very good kick but it comes off, I suppose he thought it was a good pass and he found his teammate out there on the half forward flank. Right, the kick towards centre half forward, they set themselves. Oh, being held there was the East Belmont player and he should take the free kick in Posman and he'll have to go back behind his mark and uh, take this kick on from the half back line. Posman now, short kick in towards the centre. He's got a, a lead there from his teammate and a good mark taken there by Edwards. Edwards kicks towards centre half forward. It's knocked the turf by the defence. First onto the ball is Montgomery. He's uh, shrugs the tackle, a high kick down towards the forward line, they set themselves from behind East Belmont, couldn't get it as the siren sounds to end the first quarter here at the Baker's Oval this afternoon and Geelong West with a commanding lead 
There's the Kerr's Northside High Karaya Village News Agency first quarter scoreboard will show. They are on six goals for 40, leading East Belmont on four, goal, uh, four points straight four behinds. Goal kickers for the first quarter, we had Stennett kicking two, James Bailey kicking one, and Timmy Gardner one, Glenn Campieri and Dean Westwick. We'll take a short break and we'll be back for the second quarter here this afternoon very shortly. Uh, just before we take just as before we take the break, I thought that the Geelong West uh, Cricket and Football Club were well supported in the first quarter by Peter Stennett playing at centre half forward. Also at full forward, James Bailey uh, did quite well up there. Timmy Gardner played uh, reasonably well in the first quarter, and a young fellow on the wing here in uh, Ingwardson also done well for the East Belmont side. I thought their better players were uh, Hetherington. Across the half-back line, we had Barry Wilkins playing quite well and, at times, Danny Montgomery. As as we just seen on the screen, the uh, first quarter scoreboard showed 6-4 Geelong West Cricket Football Club leading East Belmont, who are on four behinds. And that was proudly brought to you by Kerr's Northside Hire, Corio Village News Agency, out there in North Geelong and Corio.